Welcome to the Yggdrasil Poncho joining tutorial. This poncho pattern is a written pattern published by me, Morale Fiber. And this tutorial goes over how to create and mark off the joined seams at the side of the poncho. This poncho is made from two circular mandalas joined at the side with the collar opening on top. It has small and large options made with DK weight and worsted weight yarn respectively. I'm going to link the written pattern below and hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. Hi there, this is Regina with Morale Fiber. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to do the treble crochet join on the two side seams of the Tree of Life poncho. Here, I'm going to scooch it up so we can see it. There's the center of the poncho. And at, in the written pattern, we have described how to mark off the two, uh, the, the collar opening and the side seam for the structure of the poncho. So here I've got my two middle stitches, the ones that are right, centered right above that tree. And then on either side, this is a size large. So, sorry, I'm going to adjust the camera. This is a size large, so we count, we've we counted out 15 stitches from that central point on either side. So these two end points are, this is the collar opening area now that has this central point. So I've marked it on this first mandala and now I'm going to mark it on the second. So Here's our marked center stitch. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't see. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Okay, fifteen is all we need. That's right, because we're doing the large. So I stuck my hook in that stitch. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same marker to hold those two together. So they're both marked. <clears throat> and now that this collar is marked off, we do not need these center point stitches anymore. You can keep them there if you want the reference, but I don't need them. I'm going to use them to mark the outer points outside the collar. <clears throat> so this is a 43 stitch long gap. So from the outer edge of the collar, we count 42. And that's where this other marker is way down here. So I'm going to flip this around and mark that on the other side. One, two, three, whoops, not counting that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Here we go. That's marked. And again, count out that same amount of spaces away from the collar on the other side. Okay. 
Now that all of our spaces are marked off, we have this top portion above the middle of the tree here. This is the opening for the collar on either side. We have two marked off sections. So on each of these sides, we're going to work those treble, trebles to join for the sides. This is the shoulder area, collar, opposite shoulder area. So to begin our joining trebles on the side of the poncho, here I've got, this is the center collar, this is the collar opening, so I'm at the side here where it goes down, and this is the marked off portion down the side. And here I have this beginning stitch, that's the stitch marker is holding these two beginning stitches together. So, I'm not going to remove that just yet. So I'm going to take my new yarn and join it in the marked stitch on the mandala on top. Just this one stitch. We are not inserting the hook through both stitches at once. Just the one on top first. And we're going to draw up some yarn and chain three. And this chain three counts as the first treble with the last loop on the hook. And then in the corresponding stitch on the second mandala, the one that's also marked, we're going to yarn over twice to start our treble. Insert the hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then draw through two loops and then draw through two loops again so that we have another treble with the last loop left on the hook and that's in that starting stitch on the bottom mandala. So these two trebles are on the hook. We're going to yarn over and draw through both of those loops to draw them together. And so these two stitches that were marked are now both worked into. I'm going to remove this marker. And now that those aren't really being held together, you can see there's this connecting bridge of trebles that meet at the top where they're joined and that forms the side seam of the poncho. So if you were working a size small, you would repeat that process of working a treble two together in each of the next two stitches. So that's this next free stitch on one and this next free stitch on the one on the back, which we're calling two, I guess. <laughs> So I'm going to yarn over twice to start that treble, insert my hook through the next stitch on the top mandala, and draw through two loops twice. Now I have one treble with the last loop left on the hook. And I'm going to repeat for the next available stitch on the second mandala so that I have a treble on the hook. So I have two trebles with the last loop on the hook plus this loop remaining from my last stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and draw through all of those loops. So I have another two loops that are connected, connecting these two mandalas. Now that's if you're working a size small, you work two treble two togethers over each pair of next free stitches. Again, working these stitches individually, not with the hook through both. So that's size small. And then on size large, we're gonna pull that out because large works a treble two together join stitch once and then works a treble four together join stitch once. So the next two stitches on each mandala are going to be joined together by working four trebles with the last loop on the hook in each 
stitch. So we're going to go ahead and tackle that. That's the decrease. And again, the small works, the regular treble two together join, the regular two together treble, dang it, <laughs> the regular treble two together join, and then the treble four together. So repeats the treble two together twice, and then the treble four together once. That's the small. The large repeats the treble two together once, and then alternates it with the treble four together once. So that's decreases every other stitch. So here's how to do the treble four together. Beginning with our yarn over twice, insert into the next free stitch on the first mandala, draw up a loop, draw through two loops twice for our first treble with the last loop on the hook, yarn over twice, insert into the next free stitch on the second mandala, draw up a loop, draw through two loops twice. So that's two trebles with the last loop left on the hook, yarn over twice, go to the next free stitch on the top mandala, draw up a loop, draw through two loops twice, that's three treble crochets with the last loop on the hook. One more to go. Yarn over twice, insert hook into the next free stitch on the second mandala on the bottom, draw up a loop, draw through two loops twice, now we have four total, one, two, three, four treble crochets with the last loop on the hook, plus this loop left over from the previous stitch. So we're going to yarn over and draw through all of those loops. And I like to take my working yarn tension and just peel it back just a little bit and tighten it just to make sure we're getting a good gathering on those stitches and that those stitches are gathered together kind of nicely. Okay, and so that's the treble four together decrease for the joining seam. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. So now we've got this seam that bridges the gap between the two mandalas. And we've got a treble two together which just connects two stitches together, one on each side, and a treble four together, which connects four stitches, two on each side, and also decreases the length of the join. So a large is going to alternate treble two together and treble four together. So this is a large we're going to work, we just worked a treble four together, we're going to work a treble two together by working a treble with the last loop left on the hook in the next space on, or the next stitch on one, and then a treble with the last loop on a hook in the next stitch on two. So that's two trebles, we're going to yarn over draw them together, so one treble two together made. Again, larges alternate, so the next one we'd be doing is a treble four together. A small working a treble two together would, all, would work another treble two together, and then a treble four together. This is a large, so we're going to yarn over twice, draw up a loop, draw through two loops twice for our first treble, yarn over twice, insert onto number two mandala, draw up a loop, two loops twice, that's two, the next stitch on one, so we're alternating the stitches, and then the next stitch on two, 
so that we have one, two, three, four trebles with the last loop on the hook, and then this leftover from the last stitch. We can yarn over and draw through all of those loops. And there's our decrease. So again, this is large, we're alternating. We're just gonna go ahead and continue treble two together. There we go. Treble four together. So there's one, two, three, four. And that's the joining seam for this poncho.